Apple has become a household name because it sells quite as many smartphones as it can. The Cupertino-based corporation sold about 200 million smartphones worldwide last year. There's really no denying that Apple does a lot of great things with its iPhones, which it refreshes every year. Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know about the iPhone Model 14, its release date, and all the notable new specs added. Since 2017, iPhones with Face ID have had a notch at the front to house all the necessary equipment for facial scanning, but that's set to change with the launch of the iPhone 14. The 2022 iPhone 14 Pro models are expected to eliminate the notch in favor of a new design. Rumors were all over the place for a bit, but it looks like Apple will go with some combination of a circular hole punch cutout for the camera paired with a pill-shaped cutout to house to key Face ID components. This feature will unfortunately be limited to the Pro models, and the more affordable iPhone 14 models will continue to feature a standard notch. Additionally, iPhone sizes are changing in 2022, and Apple is eliminating the 5.4-inch iPhone mini as it turned out to be unpopular with customers. After seeing lackluster iPhone mini sales, Apple is planning to focus on larger iPhone sizes for its flagship devices, and we're expecting to see a 6.1-inch iPhone 14, a 6.1-inch iPhone 14 Pro, a 6.7-inch iPhone 14 Max, and a 6.7-inch iPhone 14 Pro Max. New iPhones always include camera improvements, and the iPhone 14 is no exception. There will be improvements to the ultra-wide camera, and there's a possibility that Apple will introduce a periscope zoom lens that allows for much greater optical zoom, but it's still not yet clear if this will come in 2022 or 2023. The Pro iPhone models are expected to get 48 megapixel cameras and 8K video recording capabilities, but these features will not be available on the standard iPhone 14 models. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 14 models are likely to continue to use the same A15 chip that was introduced in the iPhone 13 series, while the iPhone 14 Pro models receive an updated A16 chip. This would mark the first time that the Pro iPhone models get a faster chip, with Apple perhaps going this route to cut down on costs and also because of outgoing supply issues. Apple is expected to use Qualcomm's Snapdragon X65 chip, which is the first 10GB 5G modem with faster connectivity speeds and connectivity improvements. Alongside the X65, Apple is expected to introduce new satellite-based emergency features that will let users send texts in emergency situations and report accidents with no cellular coverage. ProMotion Display There were early iPhone 14 rumors suggesting that all four iPhone 14 models coming in 2022 could offer ProMotion displays with refresh rates up to 120Hz, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Apple is likely to restrict ProMotion technology to the iPhone 14 Pro models, a move that display analyst Ross Young attributes to a lack of availability of the necessary displays. Young has made it clear that he believes 120Hz refresh rates will remain an iPhone 14 Pro feature. Always-on display technology is also expected to be introduced as an iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max exclusive. Korean website The Alec has said that at least one of the iPhone models coming next year will use a standard LTPS OLED display without 120Hz ProMotion technology, which supports Young's statements. Analyst Jeff Pugh has claimed that the feature will come to all iPhone 14 models, but he is not known for his reliability. Body Design the iPhone 14 models are expected to look like the iPhone 13 models with the same flat-edged design. Leaker John Prosser claimed that Apple would introduce a thicker chassis with no rear camera bump and round volume buttons, but his information appears to have been incorrect based on later rumors and part leaks. Alleged renders depicting the iPhone 14 models surfaced in March, and the renders suggest that the standard iPhone 14 models will have no design changes, featuring the same look as the iPhone 13 models. There will be a standard notch along with the exact same camera bump at the back with the diagonal camera layout. There is no iPhone 14 mini, with Apple offering two 6.1-inch iPhones and two 6.7-inch iPhones. As rumored, the camera bumps are about 5% larger, and cases designed for the iPhone 13 models are unlikely to fit the iPhone 14 models because of the size increase. Size Options There will be no 5.4-inch iPhone in 2022 because Apple is doing away with the mini line following lackluster sales. The iPhone 13 mini will be the last of the mini phones, and going forward, Apple is expected to focus on larger-sized iPhones. 
we're expecting a 6.1 inch iPhone 14, a 6.1 inch iPhone 14 Pro, a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Max, and a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Pro Max with the larger 6.7 inch iPhone replacing the mini model. Colors. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro could come in purple, according to an unverified rumor. Though unconfirmed, the rumor suggests that both the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro models will be available in a purple shade that has a unique finish that shifts tone based on lighting conditions. Cooling. Starting in 2022, high-end iPhone models are likely to adopt a vapor chamber thermal system, which Apple is said to be aggressively testing. The VC thermal system will be required for the high-end iPhones due to their stronger computing power and faster 5G connection speeds. There are already smartphones from companies like Samsung, Razer, and LG that use vapor chamber cooling technology, which is used to keep a device cooler when it is under heavy stress. It is unclear if the vapor chamber thermal system will meet Apple's high requirements, but Apple is working on improving it and high-end models could adopt it in the near future. Lightning port. There have been rumors that Apple is aiming to remove the lightning port from the iPhone for a portless design with charging done over MagSafe, but it's not clear if that technology will be introduced with the 2022 iPhone models. At least some of the iPhones coming will continue to feature a lightning port. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max panels also feature slightly thinner bezels and a taller aspect ratio, and all of the display panels are in line with the rumors that we've heard so far. Pricing. There's no way to accurately predict the pricing of an unreleased Apple device, though the Cupertino tech giant tends to stick to the same price range with every annual release. The iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max start at $1,000 and $1,100 respectively. So the iPhone 14 equivalents should cost around the same respectively if we had to make an assumption. The iPhone 14 lineup will launch in September 2022, assuming Apple sticks to its usual schedule. Considering we're months away from that, a lot can change internally. The company could scrap plans or introduce new ones before we see the product officially. Either way, we hope that the Cupertino tech giant has a few tricks up its sleeve and surprises us during the launch event. What do you think about the iPhone 14? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks.